Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Football Manager 2013. This episode we take on Swansea at the Liberty Stadium. The starting line for today is Petr Cech in goal. In defence we have Asbel Quater, Cahill, Ivanovic and Jokin Sais. The centre of midfield we have Andre Ayew and Giselli. The three attack midfielders versus Hazard on the left, Kakuta in the centre and Oscar on the right with Loriente up front as a lone striker. On the bench we've got Mitchell Beanie, Poyol, Ashley Cole, Sissoko, Lampard, Dembaba and Falcao. Decided to uh, choose Falcao to put on the bench instead of Rondon. Because Rondon just... He hasn't had good form lately. He's had an alright season, but not great form. In terms of team talk, though, Azpilicueta seem motivated, and Cahill, Giselli, Kakuta, and Loriente all look happy. So not a bad pre-match team talk. It's important that we win our two remaining games by a, a large goal difference, simply because Tottenham are currently uh, I think one goal ahead of us in terms of goal difference so it's important that we we get as many goals as we can because goal difference could decide who gets second place, who finishes second, who finishes third. Um, after this match we'll, I'll show you guys a new under 18s coach that I've signed, a new player that I've signed and also who's the first team to be relegated to the championship from the premiership this season. This is Dawson Williams trying to find Graham and he's found Graham. Vanovic trying to get it. It's Michu to Williams. A you beautiful tackle and that set has it off. Whips it in. Oh. Oscar should have did better there. Form with the easy collect. Free kicking Zobia and Williams with the header and somehow. Oh, it's been disallowed. That's alright. I was going to say somehow he scored that. Just check with the goal kick and Zogbia's got in front of Jock and saves that and he's collected it. And Zogbia back to Norton. Oh, Graham there. Close to scoring. This is saying Zogbia with a corner. This is Michu. Whips one back in and now they've scored for God's sake. This is ridiculous. Ball came floating in. And I don't know what to say. In terms of headers, we're getting dominated. This is form with the goal kick. It's fallen to Graham and they've scored again. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Cheap, cheap goal, poor defending, not great attacking, just absolute poor defending. Giselli's been booked for an unsportmanlike conduct. This is Michu to Hernandez, and they've been given a penalty. Cahill's been booked. Oh my god. Graham with the penalty. And they've scored it. Of course they're going to score it. Well that certainly doesn't help things does it? It's Jock and Seizo to Kakuta. Loriente. Come on let's grab one. Jock and Seiz couldn't get it and Dawson collected and found Hernandez. This Kakuta. Oh you Oh my goodness. Loriente's got the goal kick though. And he scored it. Awesome. Okay, at least we got one before half time. But poor goal kick from uh, from Vaughan. Loriente with a good finish. Right. Okay, we've got quite a few players who are having poor games. Player rating wise, they're nearly beating us by 1.00. So, that certainly doesn't help. Danny Graham's on 8.5 right now. Right. We're going to make a substitution. We're going to get Andre AU off. 
start the second half then get him off. Andre, A you off and get we'll get Lampard on. Right. This is Norton. Got a lot of players looking frustrated and you know, I ain't surprised. We're playing absolute dog shit right now. Asbuquet has picked up a knock, so we'll get him off for Ashley Cole. See, and they nearly scored again. Header wise, we're just getting dominated. This is Jock and Says to Giselli. Kakuta. Van Giselli flicks on to Jock and Says. Which one in? Lampard's there and we've got a goal. Okay. Good, good. We're back in with a chance here. Right. We're going to get Oscar off and get Falcao on. Now you're probably wondering why I'm putting Falcao on the right side of the attack midfield. Simply because I'm willing to experiment. Jockin says with the cross. Lampard completely unmarked. Loriente was there as well. Come on. We can do it. This is Richards with the throw and Kakuta's collected. Whips one across and it's Lampard and we scored. Yes! Fantastic. Okay, we got the equaliser. Can we grab the win? If we can come from 3 0 down to win this match, that would be insane. Kakuta did well, took it to the furthest, closest to the end of the pitch as he could before trying to get the cross in. Form with goal kick though, and it's Britain to Hernandez. Now Michu, now Graham, Michu, Graham. Oh my god. God. Poor defending again. You just see him cut inside. Absolute poor, poor defending. Come on, let's get a goal. This is Ivanovic to Giselli. Now Falcao. Jockin says, Giselli finds Kaku to flicks onto Jockin says. Oh, Loriente wastes the opportunity. Oh. Come on. Man United are winning 2 1 against Southampton. Rooney scored for them. This is Hazard. Come on. Lampard. Falling with the tackle and that's... I ain't happy about that. Match stats, we had 18 opportunities, 10 on target, 5 clear-cut chances. So really, we should, we should have done so much better than what we did. We had 51% possession, our pass completion was 80%, tackles won 69%, headers won 66%, two yellow cards. The average rate for a player for them was 7.41, and the average rate for a player for us was 6.76. Danny Graham, man of the match, 9.5 rating and got three goals. Fallin, 8.0 rating and got a goal. Lampard had a good game, 8.7 and got two goals. Loriente, 7.5. I'm going to have a word with AU and Asbel Quater in terms that I'm not happy with their performance because it just weren't good enough. But a couple of results Nor uh, Newcastle 2 1 win against Birmingham, Bolton 2 1 draw with Fulham, Liverpool 3 2 win against West Brom, Man City 4 0 win against Burnley, Norwich got a 2 1 win against Everton, West Ham 1 0 win against Aston Villa, and Man United 2 1 win against Southampton. We're just going to. Uh, Talk to these two quickly. Right, that 
wants one. Andre AU will probably complain. Seems to be doing a lot of that lately. Match performance, last game. We'll go aggressive. Oh, crikey, he actually took it on the chin. Right, in terms of the new under 18s coach that I've signed is Jan Pollack. Career stats wise, Germany and Holland mostly. But he's got good stats, good attacking and technical. So I thought, get him as a youth coach, I think he could be a good coach and be helpful. Also, the new player that will be joining us at the start of next season. Where is it? Future transfers. Emily. A 16 year old, really good striker. He's, I think he's going to be getting on something like £10,000 a week. Which is a lot for a 16 year old, I know. But I think he could be a really, really good striker in a few seasons. So he's one of my little investments for the future. But we'll have a look at the league. Oh well, we need to know who we're playing in the last game of the season. The last game of the season for us is against West Ham. The league table currently... Man City on 87 points, Tottenham in 2nd with 73 points, we're in 3rd with 73 points but Tottenham have a game in hand. Man City are in, uh, Man United are in 4th with 71 points, so as long as we win our next match we're guaranteed a top 3 but I want us to uh, get a top 2 finish. But that's all for this episode guys, thank you for watching, if you did like this episode please leave a like, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time take care guys